Here's a question my therapist can't answer. Uh, how much of our resources should we commit to combating the rise of modern fascism? Right. The fact that that exists is unquestionable, right? There are concentration camps in the United States. Uh, Bolsonaro is doing all kinds of things in Brazil. Uh, persecution of LGBT people in the Philippines by by Duterte. Like, there's a lot of bad faith arguments you can make about sort of the existence of fascism now. In essence, right, we can boil it down to sort of three things. Uh, first, the exercise and, and the valuing of power and authoritarianism over uh, things like liberty and democracy and that kind of thing. Right? Perfectly happy to claim to value uh, liberty, but entirely does so in bad faith. Secondly, targeting marginalized people. Right? We see it with... Uh, anti-immigrant rhetoric, we see it with uh, the Islamophobic rhetoric uh, right now in the States. Finally, it poisons everything it touches. If you have 100 people in a Nazi at dinner, you have 101 Nazis at dinner. You're either in opposition to it or you're complicit in it. So this is the kind of context where we're obligated to oppose it. Right? That's, un that's uncontroversial. If you have problems with opposing um, rhetoric and action that violently uh, targets minority groups and asserts power over liberty um, and values power over people uh, feel free to uh, leave like now the rest of this video is not for you now that was the beginning the question is how and I I sort of divide it up into time, talent, and treasure, right? There are, but ultimately, this this means committing these assets to a movement of some kind, right? Solidarity movements, workers' movements, curses. There we are. Right? You can donate time, show in, and show up. That might involve direct action. Uh, which it's documented that it works. Direct action, deplatforming, but that doesn't have to involve direct action in that, in that kind of way, right? Supporting people is just as much a form of direct action. Making sure people stay safe, making sure people have food and shelter and, are, and security. Uh, and that can also be a donation of talent. And right? if there are things that you're good at, if there are connections that you have, Talent might be the thing that, that goes on the table. And finally, treasure, right? Donating money. I opt for donating money over time a lot of the time. I have a hard time with crowds and things like that. Um, so I just sort of go when I can. And that's, I think, the core of this question and this issue is how much, right? How much should you, in this context, give up? Should we have video games and go to concerts and stuff like that and have lives when those resources are better spent? Oh, I didn't lead it. You know, participating in, in direct action. And, like, it's easy to say that it is okay. There we go. Um, like, it is okay to have a life. And it is. And that's the only conclusion I've managed to come to is that is I can ask questions about what percentage of that life I want to I want to commit to this but it is okay to have one so I don't have a good answer for this but it is a thing that I am noodling about but as you noodle about it I would recommend remembering two things first the only good Nazi is a dead Nazi. That hasn't changed since the 40s. And second, stay awesome.